get it full. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Montana Haven, not Alaska edition, just straight up Montana Haven. So I got my good buddy Michael and Justin and Ethan, and we're here in Montana. We came here for the auction, and while we're here, you know, our soup got a little thin up in Alaska, so we decided to do a project while we're here. So we're going to spend the next week, uh, roughly five to seven days, and we're going to be uh, framing like three walls inside here, and we're going to frame up all our our deck and get the subfloor put on and all our entire deck uh, flooring as well so it's gonna be a pretty good sized project but we're hoping we can knock it out and then we're gonna head home back to Alaska so <coughs> welcome to this video it's gonna be a building video we hope you guys are gonna enjoy it and I'm so happy to have Michael because he's gonna tell me what to do and we're gonna get this thing done yeah, right. so join us and thanks for watching another episode heading into the job site for the first time here There comes all of our lumber, almost all of it. Some of them didn't make the truck. Starting from this end, four and three eight, fifty two, four and five eight, four and three sixteen. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're putting sill seal down. This helps uh, insulate or actually keep. Like, yeah, pretty much insulate between your pressure treated two by eight and the concrete. So then we gotta put washers and nuts on here and suck this down, tighten it up. So that's what we gotta do. First thing is put all this on. Ethan, shoot it. Right there in the center. Right there, yep. Put down his feet. Yep. Boom. Well, that's all she wrote for one day. We just ran out of wood. We didn't get all the wood that we were supposed to get. But we got this front wall framed up and we got all our uh, pressure treated plate on. We ran out of, out of uh, nuts for these bolts as well. So we'll have to pick more of those up tomorrow. There weren't enough here. So we gotta get more of these guys. And tomorrow we're gonna get a beam. It's gonna go from here all the way across to back there, 46 foot long put that one in and then our, our uh, Joyce, BCI Joyce will hang off of that. Hey guys, this morning we're back and our focus today is we're gonna build this wall right here. It goes across there and then we're gonna build this one that goes across right here. And then we're gonna get our beam up along here and then start putting our Joyce on. So that's the, the plan for right now.
We're bringing in the beam now. Yeah. Okay, then do you say every day? Well, so far we got that beam up there. We got our posts in underneath to hold it up. And now we're ready to start putting our exterior rim on. And what a beautiful day it is out here in Montana. All our bolts are in here to hold this all down. And what we're putting out here is going to be three and a half inches wide by 11 and 7 eighth inch tall. And unfortunately, these bolts are way out here. So each one of these bolts, we're going to have to cut a little bit out of the bottom of this rim in order for it to sit down flush on here. So that's unfortunate that they put the bolts out there like that, but they probably just didn't know or something. Got that wall built and we're out of material again to build the other wall. So we're just going to start putting the rim on and then uh, Joyce after that.
this way. Oh! Looks pretty good. Look at that, you guys. That's another day's work, another day, and another dollar. Another day, a couple dollars. Yeah, we got all the rim on, got the beam in, got those hangers on. Tomorrow, we're gonna knock out these joists big time. Sweet deal. Just a perfect Montana day. Birds are singing. Yeah, good morning. Well, this morning we're getting ready to take off. It's uh, about six o'clock this morning and it's been daylight for about 30 minutes now, starting to get daylight. The birds are out and about and I just had to show you this view. It's just awesome. It's a beautiful place, that's for sure. Yeah, look at those mountains. The green, green, green fields and cows out there. And yeah, so it's a beautiful drive up there. It takes about an hour and a half to get there every morning and every night to come back home. So it takes a bit this morning. We're getting an earlier start because uh, we just want to get more work done. But we're missing a few hangers but I, I'm hoping we can still stay busy all day uh, we won't be able to put all the joists in because we don't have the hangers but we're going to get everything done we can so should be a good day and i um, going to quit a little earlier so we can come home we've been invited for dinner somewhere at my uh, brother-in-law's place and their family so yeah it would be a good day all right I hope you're having a good day when you watch this or had a good day Check this out guys, this is on the way to work. Can you believe that? It's called the Yak River Falls. Impressive falls. Pretty hard to beat that view right there. We got quite a bit done today, this morning. It's lunchtime now, we got that framed up and the OSB on there, all that is is a stiffener. Did the same over here. All this framing is in, up in that room. These are called squash blocks. They're simply there to help hold the, the weight of the logs. We'll put those all the way around as well as here in the center. And little VCI chunks right there for stiffeners as well. And we got this front wall 
just finishing the sheeting on it and then on to the next thing. And there it is, folks. We uh, got quite a bit done, I think. And we weren't able to get <clears throat> the left side of our joist done because we didn't have we don't have those, but we're gonna pick those up in the morning. And I think we can get the subfloor completely finished tomorrow. Then it's just working on the decks after that. Probably another three days or so, four days maybe, after the subfloor. It was really warm, but then it rained off and on today. Sprinkling a little bit right now, actually. Back again this morning, and by this evening, we're hoping to have all our, we call them BCIs, they're like called Boise Cascade I-beams. They're engineered uh, floor joists. We're gonna have these all in here, going across here. Hopefully everything's gonna be covered. <clears throat> That's gonna be the stairwell going down. And we're going to have all these BCIs in, and we're planning to have all the subfloor, three-quarter inch tongue and groove, gold edge, OSB subfloor put on. That's the plan for today. It rained last night. Look at that. All foggy. Okay, first sheet, here we go. put down the last piece before lunch this is awesome we are several hours ahead of schedule for sure what we thought we might be so very cool Oh, 
told me a long time ago that the Tinman secret is don't do it in one, hit what you can do in 100. Since we don't have a metal brake, this is a DIY, like a nice straight corner. Okay, this thing gonna be cut right at seven feet. Hey, hey, check it out. Look what we got done. We got done what we planned to do, which is awesome. We got this whole subfloor on. We got the metal around the outside edge, the ice and water shield and the metal. Then we got this ledger for the porch. And we got started on this front porch here. Looking good. I'm really thinking tomorrow that we can get this porch framed up. So there's a porch that goes from there all the way around, jogs. It's actually a pretty good sized porch. Comes all the way over to here, plus this front porch right up here. So it's a bit of a porch, but I, we think we can get it framed up. But uh, what a nice day it was to work. It was cloudier and it wasn't so warm. We are just sweating it because Alaska's not this hot. So we're thankful that it was a little cooler today. Hey, tomorrow we're gonna have some friends come from uh, Maryland, yeah, Maryland. And uh, some uh, three guys, single guys, are gonna come up and hang out with us and maybe we can get a lot done, we'll see. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow. That is crazy, look at that. Woo! Nuts! That is wild! Well, this is Thursday afternoon and we're making really good progress. We were hoping that maybe today we could get up all the, all the framing up and I think we're gonna get it. We did make one mistake, which literally cost us, uh, we can't quite finish everything. So, made one, one wrong cut. Justin and Ethan have been working here on putting these joists in and I got friends here that are from Maryland. You might've seen them in other videos uh some some time past but i got three brothers good friends of ours crosby spencer's the oldest then crosby and riley and they came along today just to hang out with us and to do some work so they're helping out which is a real blessing so what we're going to do right now is we're going to put the joist along the front right there and then i think we're oh that yeah we're going to do all those and then we're pretty much done with what we can do so we're going to see if we can get that done today yet not sure if we can but we're going to Give it a whirl. Okay, it's 
it's quitting time. We didn't quite get done because I realized I still have to do something. So that's going to be, this is Friday. We might come back tomorrow and work part of the day. Anyway, it's really warm and it's time to quit. So we're going to call it a day. See you either tomorrow or Monday. Well, good morning. We are back again. Today it's Saturday and it's like 11 o'clock. Um, you know, we're here in Montana. My fam our families are at home in Alaska. What are we gonna do? I mean, I guess we could go hiking or something, but uh, we decided, you know, if we just work an extra day Saturday or part of a day, take it easy today and uh, get like five or six hours in and then that's actually one day closer to going home. So that's what we're going to do. So Michael is visiting some family here uh, in another part of Montana, so he's not helping today, but I, we brought a friend up. The boys went actually camping last night with, with the, their cousin, Jerome, and uh, he came up with us today. So it's just the four of us. We're gonna work on putting some flashing around here and maybe use some fascia, just get as far as just add, do a bunch of work. So that's what we're doing today. And yeah, this trip I brought Justin Ethan along and uh, last trip to Montana about a month ago, actually I, I brought Avalon. So she got to come along and see friends and do things. This time it's the boys. I was gonna bring Wyatt along, but then the accident with his hand happened, so that, that wasn't gonna work out. So uh, he gets to maybe next time, we don't have any plans to come in the near future, but next time we told him it'll be his turn to come. Uh, so there might be, maybe this fall, we might make another trip back back here to Montana, we'll see. Uh, and the, actually tomorrow is my birthday, and I might, uh, we might go hiking tomorrow, actually. It's been, been a while since we've gone hiking in the Cabin of Mount Wilderness, so uh, always enjoy that, especially doing it with, with my family. So we'll see what happens with that. You know, this is there's a saying that says, I'd rather be in the mountains thinking about God than being in church thinking about the mountains. So that's actually not really scriptural, but it's kind of fun to think about. I, I think it's important to go to church and just... Uh, provide that stability for, for your family. But sometimes it's also good to go camping or hiking and stuff. So I really, we really enjoy the outdoors. That's one of my ultimate favorite things is to go outside and camping and stuff, hiking. So we might do that tomorrow. We might go early and uh, do like a, maybe like a 14 or 15 mile round trip. Uh, is what we're kind of thinking of some lakes that I've only ever been to once before. So anyways, it's time to get busy, get some work done here and uh, see how far we get. Okay, so far we've got ice and water shield that we put on here. Like right here, you can see it. And then we put uh, metal drip edge on there. Going all the way around here. And we got all these joists on. And you can see what we did here. We got metal drip edge on both sides with uh, like a butyl tape in the center right there to hold everything, keep it uh, completely uh, weather tight. So these things should last a long time because this is going to be exposed to the elements out here. So I got to put it on this one here. Oh my, there's a serious shower coming over that mountain and it just started pouring down rain. Dark clouds up there. Some thunder, I'm trying to finish this real quick. Oh. Thunder and lightning. Well, we're known as the Soggy Bottom Boys right now. We are pretty soaked, working out here in the rain, but it's starting to lighten up, but we're gonna call it a day. We got these posts in. This is basically ready for uh, decking on Monday morning when we come back. So we are short, missing an LVL beam over there, but hopefully I can find one. 
So have a good weekend and we'll see you back Monday morning.